Hello, welcome back. Today we are going to write the code of the callback function. In previous video we, we set some optimizers. I think that we we don't need all the optimizers, but if you if you want a specific tutorial about uh, talking about its optimizer and its its own implementation in our uh, class in our neural network, uh, give me uh, leave a comment in the in the description. So now the uh, what we are going to do is. We add a new item that we are going to call the callback. Okay. The callback class uh, is the. Uh, we need to define neural net. Okay. Uh, the callback class uh, will output or do whatever you want. In when we train our uh, its bats, when we first uh, start training our bats, and when we finish to train our bats, okay. So protected. The first thing that we need is to create a type def the eigen matrix. Scalar eigen dynamic and we also create the eigen row vector xi integer vector. Okay, uh, I think uh, we haven't. Yes, uh, we haven't defined it in our include file. So the first we include callback, and now it won't give us a new. Okay, I think uh, this is all right. So. Public. Uh, we can define uh, a few variables inside our class. The number of bats is the total of batches. The bats ID, for example, the zero one until the uh, n bat minus one. the total number of epochs and the epoch id is the index of the epoch in which we are I'm also going to define A vector, in which in which we will we will store our loss error. Okay, so uh, we include the vector, as the vector scalar in loss. Uh, this you don't need to do that if you if you don't want. It, uh, this is option. So the first thing that we need to do is define the callback in, in bat to zero and bat ID to zero and in epoch to zero. And have epoch ID to zero. Okay. We also define the the structure a virtual. Oops. 
Victor callback. Why is that? Because we are going to call it uh, from a class that we we'll inherit from this. Because we have uh, some uh, callback functions, so we need to do that. And now we can define our virtual functions, the pre-training data. before training a bat neural net net constant matrix and constant matrix We are going to copy this In this function we are going to print the, er the error of our uh, neural net Post Once we have trained our watch we can uh, print x, y if you remember, we we had a integer, but uh, we can have uh, our output. The output what that we desire, we can have it. Uh, we we can have an integer vector. So that's all. I don't know why it's failing. I will compile uh, and let's see. Callback. Well, th don't worry. We have a, a to add a new filter. This filter will will call callback. And inside our new filter, we will add a new item that is called. Uh, the verbose callback inside the callback folder okay. and now uh, we can create the, the class we need to include the eigen this time we will include the eigen to in order to prevent uh, errors, the IO stream the configuration obviously the callback because we want to inherit from this and the neural net. Um, we are also going to include it here because in this file we we have included all, all the our other files. So we create our function class verbose call back inherit from public call back cons matrix x cons matrix y Happening. Ah, okay. We haven't defined yet the, our neural network class. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So, neural net. 
in the next video we will create our neural net class okay constant scalar loose is equal to net get output we will need to create a function that will, will get the output if you remember we, we have the, we have defined a few output functions the cross entropy and the mean square error so this function will, will get the, the the output and now what we need to do is to to print in a in, in print a epoch in which we in which epoch we are m epoch id then then uh, the bat in which bat we are no and bat id and then we close our square brackets and the loss function now we print the loss the error of our neural net and why why we are printing it's bad why don't we print a it's time that we refer a it's epoch why why are we doing that because uh, when we print into a screen we lose a lot of time because we have to create a new uh, a new stream to push back into the into the screen and then print it and we lose a lot of sources so it's better to print uh, the less times as possible now we push back loss and loss yep now it's correct Mm, okay. Mm. The next thing that we are going to do is to to copy where we will copy it. Integer vector. Pin pam. Pin pam. Color, bam, 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 bam. Okay. I think that's all for now. Here we have uh, uh, some errors that we will. Oh, I think that's the these functions have to be post training badge. We are make we are going to make sure that everything is all right. Okay, so uh, we that's all for now. Thank you for watching it. If you have a question, leave a comment on the comment bar. And in the next video, we are going to uh, do the neural net and create all the fun the functions, the feed, the back propagation, the feed forward, and we will start coding and understanding the the back propagation. So, see you in the next video. Bye.